We have been following a shooting outside a school in Dallas, Texas. A suspect is in custody and police are investigating. Let's bring in CBS News correspondent Tom Hansen, who is at the school. Uh, Tom, what more are we learning? Hey there, Elaine. Well, we're at Wilmer Hutchins High School. It's on the south side of Dallas. Dallas ISD, of course, is one of the largest school districts in the country. And I kind of want to set the scene here because there's a heavy police presence. So I'm going to have us pan around. Police have set a perimeter roughly a block or two around the entire school uh, to secure the scene. Um, they are telling us that a call came in around 1030 this morning reporting of an active shooter and uh, uh, that one person has been taken into custody. We do not know the relation of this person to the actual act of the shooting. Parents are packed around the perimeter as well, anxiously awaiting to hear any kind of news from their kids. Uh, one parent that our local uh, station, KTVT, spoke to said that they got a call from their child, a 10th grader, saying that there was an active shooter. So it's a very tense scene. Now, we should say, I want to reference a tweet that the high school has mentioned at this moment. They tweeted out, all students and team members are safe at Wilmer Hutchins High School as we have initiated our safety protocol. Police are on site to ensure our school remains secure. At this time, we ask for everyone to refrain from coming to the campus as we limit access inside. So there is currently, we are told, no active threat at this time. Of course, this is a dynamic situation that is developing in this very moment. I want to point out, uh, uh, putting this to the backdrop of some statistics, though, some data-driven reporting here, uh, just a really somber statement on on the environment of our nation's school systems. A Pew Research report yesterday said that a quarter of K through 12 teachers experienced a gun related lockdown last year. So that is the state of our school system at this moment. Putting a fine point on it is the incident that happened here today, Elaine. All right, Tom Hansen for us. Tom, thank you.